Margaret Scudamore was an English theatre and film actress who began in ingenue roles before achieving a prolonged career in stage and screen support roles. She and her first husband, Roy Redgrave, are considered to be the first members of the now-renowned Redgrave acting dynasty. Life in career. Margaret was born Daisy Bertha Mary Scudamore in Portsmouth, the youngest of five children of Clara and William George Scudamore, a shipwright at H.M. Portsmouth, all residing at 7 Melbourne Place, South Sea. She left home aged 18 and found her way to the London offices of theatrical agent Sir John Denton, mistaking her for Mary Scudamore, the young daughter of a well-known actor-playwright manager fortune artist Augustine Davis who had added Scudmore to his surname many years before. Sir John gave Daisy the unrelated Scudamore's address at Castle Nor Mansions, Barnes. Fortunatus, a most cheerful man, welcomed Daisy into the household and she lived with his wife and children for a time until he found work for her as an actress in London. Over half a century later, an erroneous report that she was the daughter of Fortunatus in her time's obituary of 8 October 1958 was frequently repeated in other articles even as late as 2003 in the Daily Telegraph until new Scudamore family research a few years after. While appearing in repertory at the Grand Theatre, Brighton, she met the divorced actor Roy Redgrave who had just returned from an initial period in Australia. Still called Daisy, she married Redgrave at Glasgow Register Office in 1907 while they were touring in the North. And on 20 March 1908 she bore him a son, Michael Redgrave, who went on to be knighted during a distinguished cinema and theatre career. Six months after Michael's birth, Redgrave left Daisy and returned to Australia again, this time permanently. After the disillusion of her marriage to Redgrave, about four years after Michael's birth, she adopted the stage name of Margaret Scudamore and continued acting in character roles. As Margaret, she later married Captain James P. Andy Anderson, a tea planter formerly employed by the Salon and Eastern Agency, in London in 1922 and bore him a daughter, Peg. Following Redgrave's departure, Margaret Scudamore achieved a successful career as a supporting actress in films as well as the theatre, beginning screen roles during the silent film Ira and culminating with character parts in two notable Powell and Pressburger films. Her grandchildren Corin Redgrave, Lynn Redgrave and Vanessa Redgrave and great-grandchildren Gemma Redgrave, Jolie Richardson, Natasha Richardson and Carlo Nero have successfully followed the family tradition into acting. Selected Theatre Work 1921 at the Stratford Birthday Festival at the Shakespeare Memorial Theatre in Stratford-upon-Avon, England, in plays directed by W. Bridges Adams, with fellow cast members Balliol Holloway, Percy Rhodes, Dorothy Green, Arthur Keane, Edmund Willard, George Zuko, Gwen Richardson, Mabel Todd, Morris Colborne, Vivian Bennett, Rosa Burgess and Natalie Moyer, performing in Shakespeare's A Midsummer's Night Dream, Shakespeare's The Merry Wives of Windsor, Shakespeare's King Richard III, Richard Brinsley Sheridan's play, The School for Scandal, Shakespeare's, Macbeth, 1922-23 in Rudolf Beecher and May Argentin's play, Secrets, at the Comedy Theatre in London, with Faye Compton, Henry Vibart, Dorothy Holmes Gore, Louise Hampton, Leon Quatermain, Tom Reynolds, and Helen Hay in the cast. 1923 in Rudolf Beja and May Edgerton's play, Secrets, at the Comedy Theatre in London, with Faye Compton, Doris Mansell, Fabia Drake, Bobby Andrews, Cecil Trouncer, Hubert Harbin, Louise Hampton, Dorothy Holmes Gore, Ian Fleming, and Mary Clare in the cast. 1930 in A.A. Milne's play, Michael and Mary, at the Saint. James's Theatre in London, with Herbert Marshall, Edna Best, Alwyn Brooks, Elizabeth Allen and Frank Lawton in the cast. 
1936 in the play Plot 21 at the Embassy Repertory Theatre in London, with Molly Rankin, Avis Landon's Claire Greet, John Ruddick, and Jack Livesey in the cast. Rodney Ackland and Harold Clayton were directors. 1938 in St. John Irvin's play Robert's Wife at the Globe Theatre in London, with Edith Evans, Owen Nares, and Robert Holmes in the cast. Murray MacDonald was director. 1952 in Janet Dowling Letton's play The Young Elizabeth at the Criterion Theatre in London, with Mary Morris, Joseph O'Connor, Margareta Scott, Peggy Thorpe Bates, Godfrey Kenton, and Basil Dignam in the cast. Charles Hickman was director, selected filmography, and then he woke up as the girl, Vengeance of the Air, as Enid Mortimer, Arms and the Man, as Catherine Peckoff, Double Alibi, as Mrs. Haviland, Beauty and the Barge, as Mrs. Smedley, Melody and Romance, as Mrs. Hawkins, My Wife's Family, as Arabella Bagshot, A Canterbury Tale, as Mrs. Cole Pepper, Black Narcissus, as Clodagh's grandmother.